Well, it looks Hello. like we're live. Hello, guys. Along Jinx with our baby in tow. Jinx is here again. He could not wait to come live tonight. You've been sitting out here all day long trying to figure out when you going, when you going, when you going. All right. All right. We're just going to wait a little bit, let some people come on. I'm going to refresh what I got going on to see. Um, if I can get on the live. Oh, I see us. Okay. Well, it's trying. Oh, we're here. Yay! Yay! Just waiting on anybody else to come in. I hope y'all didn't forget today. Oh, there's Julie. Hey, Jewel. <laughs> Becky. Awesome. Hey, guys. How are you guys today? Anybody want a good cat? <laughs> He's my craft buddy, but Christy would kill me if I get rid of him. He's like, are you talking to me? Uncle Brian said howdy. Hi, Brian. Becky said, Jake said hey. Hello. I want to pet the kitty. <laughs> we'll pet him for you. How about that? He likes to be petted, that's for sure. Oh, Shay Shay said hey. Hey, Shay. Uh, Melody's see. in, I think that's who it was, right? Yep, Melody. Hey, Melody. Lady. Hey, guys. I'm going to try to go through and like these comments as I'm reading them off. So, well, I'm glad to see all y'all are in. I know Timmy is moving, so I'm, oh, he just made it in. Julie, Look at you. Julie said hi, everyone. Hi. And Becky said hi, everybody. Oh, Jake's her grandson. Oh, okay. Oh, Jenny's here. Hey, Jen. Dad's here. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to have to work out with a cat today. Uh. <laughs> he has he's, been so... He said, he said he's my best craft. He's the best one I ever did. <laughs> he he's don't know why in the world we need to do any more when he's the best one. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Layton's here. Hey, Jimmy. Betty's here. Oh, hey, hey Betty. Janet. Janet's sister-in-law. Hey, good guys. to see you in, guys. Yes. We're Hope you have a good visit with us. I know me and this cat's going to fight here in about two seconds because uh, I'm going to put him down. He's going to jump right back oh, up. Oh, Andy's here. Hey, Andy. Hey, Andy. All right. I'm going to take the cat. See if I can talk him into doing something else. Yeah. Okay. Andy's going to take the cat. Well, Okay. So we've got, oh, Uncle Steve's here. Hey, hey Uncle Steve. Steve. Yeah, today we're going to do more fall. I've been working all week. Oh. Had, had a very interesting weekend for any of you all that don't know. Me and Tim come home the other night, and about mm, 20 minutes after we come home, his shop, the little garage he had out front, was full blaze. Scared me to death. Yeah, it was. It, it was. was it was a. It was a scene and a half. But the fire department got here, but he lost everything. But we're okay. That's the main thing. Right. Right. It took about an hour and a half for them cats to come in. I thought, oh, please don't let none of them cats have been in that building. Uh, but they didn't. They came on in and got both of them, both cornflake and Jinx are doing good. Sam never oh, left God. the house, so. Jennifer Mabry said, hey, family. Hey, hey we're glad you're here with us. Yes, glad to see you looks in. like we have 12 people watching. Awesome. If you want to get started. Yes, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the stuff that's kind of what we did, and I just updated it. Aunt Janet's here. Hi, Janet. Aunt Janet Clark. Uh, Uncle Steve said, wow, glad all are fine. And Becky said, oh, no, what happened? We don't know what happened. It just caught on fire. We have no clue. There's, there was no indication of anything. We had just walked into the house 20 minutes, 20 or so minutes before that. Next thing we know, it was all chaos breaking loose. So we have no idea what happened. Yeah. But anyway, this is the, if you all watched my patriotic live, or if you watched the rerun, you'll recognize the box. This is... Uh, just those three bottles. I switched out the red, white, and blue for red, uh, orange, and brown. I changed out the flags on the side of it with little leaves and then put leaves in the top of it. So that's now going to be my centerpiece and my table in there. Okay, so what it, it says, so very thankful here. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of dark, but what are these? Window clings. Window clings, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like 
Jeez, that's cute. So you just put construction paper down? I just, just, that makes it easy to change out. You just change the construction paper, put you a new window clean, which costs $1.25 to get, and you're good to go. This one says, welcome to our pumpkin patch. And this one, harvest love. I like that one. That's really cute. All right, that's awesome. I like that. I thought it turned out pretty good. I just wanted to update you to show that, you know, the one that I told you you could redo, easy as, I mean, it took me less than three minutes to change everything out. And now I'm ready for the whole fall season. And yes, Becky, everybody is okay after the fire. It was just, uh, you know, property was damaged, but all the animals and mom and dad were fine, uh, uh, thankfully. Mom's nerves weren't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just now, however many days later, getting to where I can sit down with the, yeah. anytime a, a car backfires down on the road or something, man, I'm jumping. Is because it, fireworks went off. Yeah. Inside the building. I thought somebody was shooting at us. <laughs> yeah, so. But it was a good thing, though, because yeah, it alerted that, you that too. was the only thing that alerted us that there was a fire out there in the first place. You didn't have any smell. There wasn't, we didn't see any light coming from it. Nothing. It was just fireworks that happened to be in there for whatever reason, and they went off, like I said, scared me to death. I thought we were, somebody was out there with a the gun. You know how crazy people are these yeah. days. And Hanny is here. She said, hey. Hey, Hannah. I can't get on for some reason. Is anybody else having trouble? Um, mine's just not. Could be because my phone's almost dead, so. Because Hannah got it, got on her phone good. Okay. All right, next in line. Oh, so cute. That is a truck. I've, I've done several. Um, I did that one in the green color because I want to be able to, to use it with these replacement things. That little pumpkin will come out. You just pull it out. Okay. It's got then, little holes there and it sets down in it. Yep. Now it come like that. That's part of a wood pile set. You show them this. A brown Hobby Lobby. It's seven ninety nine, and you get the truck and all those little replacement pieces in it. So you buy one for you get them when they're a half price. You get it for like three fifty four dollars, and then you can change it out with the season. We got flowers for spring, umbrella and surfboards for the beach, summertime, pumpkins, the flag, the patriotic, and the Christmas trees. That's pretty cool. I and you it. and it was completely wood and you got to color it whatever color you, you wanted. Paint it whatever color that you want. If you didn't want orange pumpkins, you wanted purple pumpkins. You could have them. And you chose the, the is that the Kelly that Green? That you like so well, much. you know it is. I always <laughs> like Kelly Green. I'm always after mm -hmm. Kelly Green. Anytime I can use it. So Alright, next in line. are my scarecrows. Aww. I have me a little boy and a I little like girl. Her hair. That's cute. Hey, I can give her a little haircut. It on. almost looks like a messy bun. That's really so cute. Look guys. I had her sitting How down because she got tired of carrying that pumpkin. Dollish the pumpkin is that ponytail. Patch. I'm just saying. Yeah. She was carrying that gold pumpkin in style is what she was doing. That is too cute. I like that. So how? Okay, let's revisit. What did you make the? Did you make? No, it was all together. Everything was okay. There. The only thing I did was to take and glue the pumpkins on their hand, and okay. I took the stick that was in her out, cut it down to where it would set. She could sit down instead of stand up. Okay, so he has a stick standing him up. Yeah, and it, I just stuffed them down inside of a, a pumpkin I had. Okay. That's cool. So you bought this separate. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin was separate. Both pumpkins were separate. Both pumpkins were separate. And I just well, put them all together and made yeah, one little. I like that. One little uh, That's cute. setup. And you made her hair? Or I, you trimmed no, her hair? I trimmed it. It was real long. It was long on her hands. It was like, she liked Edward Scissor uh, hands. The, uh, the uh, fingers uh, was like crazy. So I just cut them down. Okay. Just, that's what you can do if you find stuff that you like, but you don't like. Kind of work it around. I mean, especially if you just pay a dollar for it or even 50 cents a yard. So I don't know where those came from. I might have had them forever. But I found them out in the storage. 
And I said, well, that's a pretty good thing to do for this. I think that was the first one I worked on this time. Yeah. Okay, we got some, some comments to go through. Okay. All right, Becky says she remembers the last time that our place burnt. Yeah, that, yeah I was in second yeah, grade. we was up at we, their yeah, house. Yes, we were at their yeah. house that night. I remember yeah. that. Um, and we stayed with them for a little while. We did. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was when I was pregnant with uh, Chrissy. And Aunt Hazel come down and said, now, Kathy, you've got to stay calm. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Hazel was such a wonderful lady. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Edwina, Winnie's what we call her. Hey, Winnie. Um, so thankful everyone's okay. She's watching. Dad said he likes the green. Of course, we all, yeah, we like that Kelly green. I kind of like the change up of the truck collar. Yeah. It's been red for so long. Yeah. And then kind of people went to some a tealish blue, and now you've got to spin another spin on the green. Yeah. I'm really liking that, changing that The up. basic of the truck is wonderful, but, you know, you can only do so much in your own personal decor, <laughs> decor with a red truck. Uh, it does good for Valentine's Day and Patriotic and uh, Christmas, but the other holidays you needed to have a different color. So right. I did the green. The green will also go for Christmas. Yeah, you know, Christmas trees. And stuff. Right. Although you'll have to brighten the Christmas trees up. Maybe make them white or something. Yeah. Make them stand put, out. Put them a little snow <clears throat> on yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, decorate them up in the green and then put little snowflakes on them. Aunt Janet said she loves the truck. Winnie says she loves the truck. Becky said that looks like a ca uh, candy apple green. And it does. It, it, yeah, it does. It does. Uh, my brother, Stephen, has got me some paints that Kelly Green. I just fell in love with that Kelly Green. Every opportunity I get to use that green, I'm going to use it. Uh, Melissa's here. Hey, Melissa. She said hello. Hello, Melissa. Shasta says, OMG, these are cute. <laughs> I love I'm glad those. you like them. Yeah, I love those scarecrows. Scarecrows. Julie said, great idea. Uh, Becky loves the scarecrows. Bev Kid loves the truck. Hey, Bev, we didn't see you come in. Sorry about that, but we're glad you're here with us. We got 16 people on with us tonight. Awesome. So that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. I, want, I want to take this time to welcome, whether you're here <laughs> this time or whether you're watching me on the replay, we are now at 157 members. Yep. I want to thank all the new ones that just came on and all the older ones. Any of the newer ones that uh, are here, you could go to our YouTube page. All of our Facebook Lives are posted in the YouTube page so that you can just watch them back to back and see what we've been up to, see the things that we've done before and what we're recreating now. So, and there will be detailed videos. Uh, yeah, and then we have the how-to videos also on the YouTube. Yeah. Now this one, I'm going to let Mandy bring it up to show you. And I want to take a minute and let you all guess what I used to make this pumpkin out of. I said, this is a last minute thing. I just happened to walk across this and I said, hmm, I wonder if I could make a pumpkin out of this. And I think she turned out pretty good. I'll let you in on a little secret. I couldn't guess what it was. So I was surprised to know what it is, but... Um, let's see, Bev Kid says, glad to be watching. Uncle Steve says, 150, that's awesome. Oh, Uncle Steve said a mop head, is what he guesses. Well, that is, that's close, but actually. <laughs> and Janet said yarn. It does have yarn on, on the outside of it. The inside, the base of this pumpkin, is actually a spool that you get ribbon on from, uh, well, I got that from Dollar Just Tree. Just an empty spool. Just she an would empty have, spool that I didn't have any more ribbon on. That she would have just thrown away. Yep. She so made. this was one of my recycled projects. Yep. That's awesome. Now, what I did was my Aunt Joan, I can't even tell you, sometime last year, give me a whole shoe box or a doll box or something full of put, uh, felt pieces. They're just little old. She said, I don't know what you're going to do with them, but you know, you're welcome to have them. So I went down and got me about seven of them, cut them in half, and glued them into the center of that thing. Once I did that, I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped with that yarn. And then put the little stem, stem and stuff on it. And that turned out actually yeah. very, very cute. Yeah. And it's really neat because it's just so durable. 
Yeah. Like you could accidentally drop this and the yarn's not going to go no. everywhere. And, and it and only like... has one drop of hot glue <laughs> on the top of it where the I finished up, I put a drop of hot glue. That's all I told the yarn on. Now I did glue the, le the leaves on. Yeah. But other than that, the rest of it is just that one piece. Julie said cool. Uh, Bev Kid said great idea lady. Dad said very creative. Andy says how cool. Love the recycle ideas. Thank I, you guys. Yeah, I try to do at least one recycle idea in each one of my videos. Got two tonight, but that just gives me an opportunity to uh, show you that some things you can throw away, some things you might want to try to see if there's something else you can do with it. Yeah. Now these, anybody that watched my uh, Dollar Tree haul is going to know what these were. This is two, you can take a two, like little dessert or uh, snack bowls or something. You get four in the package at a uh, Dollar Tree store and they have the little edges on them. So all the thing I did was take them and glue them together. And the paint clear them. plastic ones. It's clear right? plastic. Yeah, they were okay. clear plastic when it started. Look at all that detail. I don't know if you guys can see that detail, but once she painted it, all that detail and design, that's pretty cool. And then on the top of it, for Christy, I put the cork on it. I'm supposed to be making her some cork pumpkins. I ain't got around to it, but I said, at least the pumpkin has cork on it. Yeah. And I did it in the orange, and oh, I believe that's agave by Waverly. This is pumpkin by Waverly. Cute. Oh, my goodness. If you could put some fairy lights in there, yeah. that would light that it up would, really it cool. It would shine up. It yeah, sure would. I like that. <laughs> Um, I got some comments. Okay. Uh, on the last project, the part, the yarn pumpkin, uh -huh. uh, James Layton, or Jimmy said, great job. Okay. Melody said, love it. Um, and then, I, these might have come in more recently, one minute ago. Awesome idea from Winnie, and Becky said, love the idea. I'm sorry, we are kind of lagging behind you guys a little bit, so... We may be on another project before your comment comes in, so if I screw it up and say it's for one project and, and you know, it's not, I'm sorry about that. Well, you can, you're welcome to correct me. So, these, something I wanted to try. This is a, in, an inspiration from a, a lady called Mackenzie Child. Mandy kind of come decorated herself. Like. I did. I didn't know it, but. And so all I did was take little white pumpkins and painted the little checkerboard design that's typically Mackenzie Child. And then the other two I just decorated in the white with the, the uh, little dots that's put on that pumpkin for anybody that needs to do dots. An eraser on a pencil works wonderful. I mean, it gives you just enough pushing to where the, the Circle is perfect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was like, I mean, it looks like stickers. Yeah, it looks like <clears throat> looks like something that I didn't do, but I did do it. I promise you, that was me. But I love the little black and white. That's what I want to do. My some of my Christmas decorations in. I'm going to do it in red, black, and white, and it's going to be my ornaments are going to be decorated kind of like that. Okay. Uh, Betty said, "Love the pumpkins." Dad said, hey, Virgie, she must have come in and I didn't see. Hey, Virgie. Hey. Oh, something come up. Let me see. Okay, Dad, are you asking to join our video? Because it's come up that there's a request. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I think viewers can join. And I think, like, it's going to show your face on... Uh, somehow, I'm not sure, I haven't done it myself, but we're probably going to explore that. She talking about that? Love what you did with the KSK. Are you talking about the ones on the side here, sis? The plaid ones? I technically didn't do that. Your dad bought them for me at Dollar, Dollar General Store. And that's how we keep her with us. We've got the spring ones, and now these are the fall ones, so... Mm -hmm. But I do like it. It blends right in with the rest of the fall colors we're working right, on. Right, right. Becky said, I love that idea. She likes the black and white pumpkins. 
it's actually interesting to take a spin of um, off the traditional fall collars. You know, it is. Kind of I love the little thing. blue to stick the little blue in there. Yeah, but look in here at our live screen. You got the black and white, and then you got the green. It's actually, you know, it kind of it's pretty cool with the whole mix of colors. Next is going to be this is just a little pumpkin plaque that we had. It kind of like that. But I repainted it. It was all nasty and stuff. So I cleaned it up real good and painted it and put our initials on it. <laughs> and when Mandy gets it up to show it to you, she can show you the back. It's it's technically dual purpose. Yeah. And you can flip it over. Trick or treat. And now we have a trick or treat sign. And Jen said yes. She was talking about these. Yeah. Yeah, Dad got us those. Yeah, he picked um, them up at Dollar Dollar General store. Up in Lookout, I think. He 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 would remember. I don't. So did you do all embellish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, all the all the stuff that's on there, I put on there. So this that is a little, window cling. Huh? Feels like a. Is this a window cling? No, it I actually printed at the off my Cricut. Okay. I made that myself off my Cricut. Very cool. I like that. Yeah. And, and then you got the K. I had the K. I okay. had picked up a bunch of letters down there at that yard sale that I go to all the time down at Orville's. He yeah, had a whole cool. bunch of wooden letters. And I just like happened to have a K. Two different kinds of bows. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, the one on the front is a raffia bow, and the one on the back is a um, fine bow. I actually learned how to make those. Dad said he hit the wrong button. He's not ready to join us yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this one, oh wow, when I first started with this one, I don't know that we can put it in it, but anyway, when I first started with that one, it was a purple Halloween pumpkin. Okay. I know you can't tell it from the wear of that now. So then I just took ribbon, and I put the ribbon on it, glued it all the way around, and took the line and put it up on the top, and... If Mandy can get it plugged in, it still even lights up. Okay. I think All right, plugged. let me see if I can set it right here. Oops, without knocking anything over. Oh, wow. Okay. And even though I painted it a, oh, the color of Merlot, which is a red brown. Oh, wow, the face shows through. <laughs> So all that stuff, is, it can be used for fall if the light's off and Halloween if the light's on. Very cute. Yep. Speaking of Halloween, after my, uh, oh, one of my things come off, I'll use this one. Uh, my haul video. Yes, we posted the, it at Dollar Tree Hall this morning. That I had the little balloons. If you guys haven't seen the Dollar Tree haul videos, she got a lot of nice things. This was one of them. Balloons with the Jack Lantern face on it. And this is my marshmallow face that I make. I made the last couple videos actually. Uh, one for uh, patriotic and, and one for uh, with scarecrows on it. But we just used the balloon with the face on it. Yep. I put two regular orange balloons on it and then I put the one with the face on it. Linda's here. Hey Linda. Hey Linda. <laughs> Very cute. And this stick is just a stick from the yard? It was, no, it was a stick that was in my uh, Spanish moss that I used. <laughs> I don't know why in the world they had a stick in there, but. Linda said hi. Speaking of the two-sided thing, if this I made is just going to hang on my door. It's like a little wreath. <laughs> It says, um, fall is in the air. I, I created that also on my Cricut. I like that. I like that font. Yeah. And it's really neat. The leaves. Huh? Yeah. You got the leaves. Yeah, the whole thing was, that I, I even managed to do them separate. And then the other one is the Halloween. And I like it had the little, I had to do it separate. I had to do the wording in one final and then the, the spider web in another. Yeah, I like that. And then you got this ribbon. It's got bats on it. That's yep. cute. I like and that. And I have those attached with Velcro, so when you're holding, or when you're on one side, you can take one okay. side off and then get, uh, put the 
bow back on the other side. So it'll sit flat so on your door. So it won't be sticking out from the door. Okay, and you, what is this? A pizza pan. A pizza pan, guys. Yep. That's me. That was an old rusted pizza pan that I had that I was going to get rid of. So there's another one of my trash to treasure. So you just painted it? I painted it orange, <laughs> both sides. On one side it has jute twi rope on it. I hear it. And on the other side, I think that's called sisal rope. Okay. It's a white pipe And rope. it's got a hanger. Yep. That's very cute. I like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, love your shirt, Annie. Thank yes. you, Aunt Jenny says. Yeah. Hey, let's let's show everybody Aunt Jenny's shirt. Yeah. It says she fights, we fight, Team Jennifer. Yep. So she got this. You're she always in our prayers, sis. Yeah. Yep. Always in our thoughts and always mm -hmm. always keep on a moving. Becky wants to know if you added a pumpkin or a candle to that pumpkin. No, it was actually a lighted pumpkin that, to start with. I just simply, I didn't like the purple color, and so I painted it with the Merlot, which I thought the Merlot, which is a dark dark red-brown color, would take the, the light out of it. But it, it didn't, and then even the, the ribbon didn't take it out. So I said, well, heck yeah, I'll just put that up and then turn it on whenever it's Halloween and have a little face shine. Of course, right. I, did, I didn't know the face would shine through it, but... I knew the light would. Right. But, yeah, that's just ribbons from a uh, Dollar Tree store. You can pick up a, you can do a lot of different things with a lot of different items. You don't always have to use it for just what it's made for. So always try thinking outside the box or, you know, just step outside <laughs> your comfort zone just for a second. If you don't like it, you can always step back in. Right. Thank you so much that she likes it. Good deal. This, last time I made a cart, this time I made a wagon. I made this one out of paint stir sticks and little craft, <coughs> the bottom in it is little craft sticks. And of course my royal pair favorite is the, uh, the poker chips for the wheels. Yeah. And then I just filled it full of one of those little things of uh, hay that we got and Pumpkins and pine cones. If you guys missed the Dollar Tree haul that was posted this morning on YouTube, go watch it. You'll talk. You, she tells you where to get these and or where she found them. I love these little pumpkins. What did it come in a set? Was it in a five? Uh, There's five orange ones and five uh, little pan ones. Okay, that's really cute. I like that. But I wanted to make a wagon. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesse's here. Hey, Jesse. Linda said wagon is cute. Thank you. Appreciate it. It is really cute. <clears throat> oh, and okay. these I worked on last night. This is another recycle project. It's a little uh, <laughs> oh, so ap cute. apple basket, potato basket, whatever. Okay, guys, look at these handles. Yeah, How I put a little cute. handles on them. <laughs> All they are, pumpkins believe in it. it or not, is a tuna can in the bottom, and you take your clothespins apart, and then you glue them to the side of the tuna can, and then you put a little slice of rope, or a little jute rope around the outside edges, make the little handle. Well, that is just too cute. I just, like, I made, oh my goodness, guys, how cute them? is that? These two are just done with hot glue, but they're staying together. I was worried they wouldn't. This one I made with fix all and hot glue so that I can put my apples in it for my apple uh, coffee bar or cocoa bar when I get ready to do it. Cute. This is another. This one just came just as it was. I didn't do anything at all. You'll see it on the hall. It also has a light in the bottom of it. So you just set it up and it just becomes a a decoration on your shelf. Just like it is. It's really cute. You didn't change anything. I didn't change anything. I was going to change the top ribbon on it, but then I changed my mind and said, nope, I'm just going to show it just as she is. It's really cute. And I think we're getting down to the very last one. This, too, is one of those projects that if you've seen my haul today, you'll know what, you're, what I'm talking about. 
I took the pumpkin and I glued on a piece of that bath mat that I was telling you about. And then just painted it. Added a little messy bow on the top of it. And then I think it says Happy Fall. Hello, Hello Fall. Hello Fall. Painted that black. Go to see together. those comments over there, Annie. Andy said love that. Yeah. Jen said she loved the basket. Thanks, sis. I know these words are backwards just because we got the, the camera facing us so we can kind of see some things. Becky says it's super cute. It's got a little pine cone on it. Messy bow, little hanger. It's really cute. And that texture, guys, from the bath mat, that is really, really neat. I just and I like how it didn't take paint like the wood. You know, yeah. it's kind of a lighter yeah. texture. I like that. It's really cool. I think it turned out pretty good. I was wondering if it would. I, the only reason you got that one today was because I counted my projects and I had 13 and I cannot do, even though I was born on May the 13th, I can't do 13 anything. So, Anna said everything looks good together. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I think that's the end of our stuff. So if anybody has any questions or um, anything that you like to see coming mm -hmm. up we're uh, i think the next in the 22nd i'm pretty sure of september is the next one um and i'm going to do it may not be all candy cane but it will all be candy in corn. the orange yellow and white thing candy corn. sorry candy corn i keep saying candy cane i don't know why i do that but I'm excited for christmas Winnie said, really cute. Melody said, that's a great idea. We really appreciate you guys coming out. Absolutely. <clears throat> and comment. It's just, it, it's amazing the, the response that we're getting. We do want to remind you guys that we have videos up on YouTube. Um, we would like you to be a subscriber to YouTube, but uh, if you don't have an email, a Gmail in particular, you have to have a Gmail uh, to actually uh, get a YouTube account where you can subscribe but even if you um okay yeah even if you need to or if you can go in and watch as a guest that that still gives us some view time and and helps mom's channel grow so we appreciate that too and it gives you an idea of what we're up to what we've done if you see something that you like and you'd like to recreate it most of them all, I do a tutorial on. I'll have one up. If not in the morning, it'll what, a part of it will go up on Saturday morning. Uh, I've got the weekend off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be I'll be working on getting <laughs> these videos up and running. So. so we are on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. So. Um, you can find us at King Cake Special Creations in all those places, Creations with a K, Kelly's initials, KSK, so <clears throat> for all of the new, uh, new members, you're welcome to go through our Facebook page here on this King Cake Special Creations page. We post links to the YouTube channel, so you can always go there. It'll be an easier way to find us there. Go pop over there, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be get notifications that we've uploaded a video, and um, and that way we'll all be on the same track. A lot of these project videos will be coming out in the next week or two, um, simultaneously with Mom working on the next two weeks of projects. So yeah. she's got a lot going on, and we do get them up as soon as possible. But uh, sometimes it does take. And let just me a know if bit. you've watched it. My first voiceover. Uh, let me, you know, give me comments back about how you do. You like it better than the other way? Is it, is it easier? It's easier for us to do the voiceovers, but you know, I want to make sure that it works for everybody else too. Becky said I was thinking about doing my Christmas decor in pink and white this year for breast cancer awareness. Oh, that wow. would be that really would cute. Be really nice. A yeah. white Christmas tree with pink ornaments. Oh yeah, that would be really. That cute. would be pretty. And Uncle Steve said we're sec uh, tech savvy down there. Way to go. Thank you, Uncle Steve. You're always, always been a good supporter of ours. And we really appreciate you a lot. And if anybody now, uh, Bev sent me a nice.
project that I'm going to incorporate in my next slide. I'm trying, still trying to find the can, Bab, but just as soon as I find it, I'll put that together. Uh, and then Chrissy sent me several ideas. So any of you, you can either message me or you can send them to uh, tkspecialcreations at gmail.com. Just send me a little email and we'll, you know, try to see what we can do about incorporating it in. I love coming up with things. Sometimes the projects find me versus me finding the projects. Okay. Patrick, I think, is here. Hi, Patrick. I can't see it. It's not coming up on this one, but if I miss any of you coming in, I'm really sorry, but we really appreciate you guys being here. I mean, I, this is a good crew. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. I am very excited. Yes. 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 Very exciting. Um, wow, look at all this stuff. You yeah. can really go uh, decorate your shelves now. I can really buy five shelves. They'll be decorated up now. But I'm going, before I do anything with that, I'm going to take pictures of these and put them up like we did on Facebook last time. I think that worked out pretty good. And simultaneously, I'm going to try to put them up on Instagram as well. Not too many people do Instagram anymore, but for the ones that's out there, they might happen to see it and say, hmm, we got a lot of hearts popping up over there. You see all those hearts? I see We that. really love you guys, and we thank you for being here. I think that's about it for this time. Do right, you have anything else? No. no. I'm going to um, just turn the camera around to um, kind of show you guys. I don't know if it's going to... I'll probably have to take it off. Here, let's see. Just hang out with me here a minute. Just as we're... <laughs> Let me see how to turn this camera around. Okay. I don't know if I can. Oh, okay. Alright, so here we go, guys. Kincaid Special Creations. Creations is that. There's spaces in between. Kincaid Special Creations. We're live on Facebook every other Thursday... We're on YouTube and we're on Instagram. Instagram. Our email Kincaid Special Creations at gmail.com. Um, oh, we're back. Okay. Great job, ladies, Brian said. Thank you very much, Brian. I, I really appreciate you guys coming in and spending your Thursday every other week with me. I okay, you're on. Okay, well, I, the last thing I'm going to tell you real quick is we're planning to do a thrift haul. Um, basically, just stuff that we've picked up and we're going to recreate. So, if if you're still here, look for that one on YouTube. We'll be as, as quickly as possible as we can get that to you. And um, then you have to check back with us to see what we do with what we haul. Yep. Well, and it's all going to be a surprise. I picked items, Mom picked items, Hanny picked items, uh, and we don't know about each other's items. So it's all going to be a surprise until we get together and record the haul video. And watch for that on YouTube. Watch for links on Facebook. Uh, we are having a little bit of technical difficulties, so we're going to rush off right now. Sorry if I missed any of your comments. But we will see you on September 22nd. Yes, yes. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Bye.